paint, so that just means a couple of voices and an acoustic guitar, and, and I get the day off. Awesome. So where are you? I'm at home in uh, Burnaby. I live oh, home. excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Well, thanks. Thanks for doing this. Uh, um, I, sh I should probably let you know there's like uh, the, I would say the world's biggest Headley fan in the room <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah. So she's going to ask you some questions as well. Her name is Charlene. Okay. How old are you, Charlene? Sixteen. Oh, she can't even talk. <laughs> this is so awkward. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> What's, uh, she's sixteen. Sixteen. Charlene is sixteen. And has she seen the band before? Yes. <laughs> where, where did you see it? Um, Penticton, Kelowna, and Kamloops. Oh, wow. Okay. Did you get any of the meet and greets that we met? No. Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, this is like oh. a thrill of a lifetime for her. So. Yeah, okay. are you coming to the show? Well, I guess not, If uh, unless we get Brennan's ass kicked a little bit here. Yeah, let's, let's get this going here, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's, uh, so, sh sh Shari... You've got some questions ready, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is just pre-recording it, Chris, so you feel free to, you know, drop as many F-bombs as you want, and I'll just Yeah, all right, well, up. I'll try my best not to. Just as a, as a gentleman, I try not to do it. Oh, so <laughs> thank you. I'm also a douchebag, so, you know, <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I juggle both roles. <laughs> You've got the, the two parts of your personality. So, yeah. so Chris, just a, an outline on the band. What are you guys up to these days? Like, what's what's going on with the band? Right now, we're working really hard to try to make a name for ourselves in the States, which also translates to the rest of the world. Once you can break the States, you, you're kind of privy to everything else. Other than that, business-wise, it's really tough to get off this uh, continent, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It doesn't matter how good you, you are or big you are, it doesn't really matter until you can crack the States. So, like I said, we Jake and Dave are down there right now uh, doing some recon work, as it were, and our album came out there yesterday. Okay. And uh, to some good reviews, great reviews actually so far. And I don't know what sales would be like for a week, but um, uh, and then I'm just sitting, writing at home, kind of waiting for because we're gonna have to have a whole new batch of songs for another record, uh, probably. I don't want to speculate, but you know, a good year from now, I'd say. Oh, okay. Um, in in well, if you notice, just, just to press, if you notice, all of the records have taken they're two years apart. Mm -hmm. So we're right on track. So it's the normal amount of headlines. It's just maybe people are getting a little more anxious these days, which is great. <laughs> yeah. But there, there is a live record and DVD that we just released uh, a couple of weeks ago that you can go out and get now. It's called Go With The Show, and it's a documentary of uh, of our big um, the tour that we did that uh, Charlene saw three of and, and then a live recording of the show. Fantastic. Yeah, you mentioned Charlene. Uh, she's sitting in the room, and, and she's prepared some questions as well. So so go ahead, Char. Get, get yourself together. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> so um, the first question I want to ask you is, um, what's your favorite song like to perform? Favorite song to perform? Um, that's tough. You know, I really, I really do enjoy playing all of them. Uh, for different reasons, I like some other ones, like... The show that you saw, for instance, we start with Chit Ching, and it's such a great, fun tune to play, and high energy, and it's really cool to start the show with it. So I really enjoy when that one comes along, and then lately I've been really enjoying playing, um, what's it called, uh, <laughs> Shelter. I think we really get into that, because it was hard for us to do. So now that we've worked on it and played it a bunch, it feels really great, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun to play. I'm really digging Shelter right now, yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Char, uh, she's totally got it together now. She's a professional <laughs> yeah. interviewer. Well, you know, I find if you, if you talk back to someone in a calm manner, they seem to settle down quickly. <laughs> yeah, you've calmed me down, too. <laughs> oh, well, I was hysterical. to my blissful world. <laughs> <laughs> so, Char, one more question. Do you have another one? Um, yeah, okay. Um, uh, how long have you, like, all played together? And, like, like how did you guys meet? We have been playing together for six years. And we met kind of how all rock groups sort of meet, I would say, most rock groups. And that's just by, you know, Tom and I played together years and years ago. And then we had Dave come and join us. And we were in a different band. And Jake knew about us because uh, we were dudes on the scene. And um, we knew about Jake because he'd gone on Canadian Idol. And he was also playing around Vancouver. And then we lost our singer, and he ditched his band, and we thought, uh, and we shared the same manager. So they 
the manager actually said, hey, why don't you guys, you know, feel each other up, see how it goes. And the first, uh, so we agreed to do that, and we we uh, got together and we wrote Street Fight that, that very night. There you go. She seems pleasantly surprised by the answer. Oh, what, what did you think I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> we all wanted to make music for you. That's what you wanted to hear. Yeah, Char yeah. Charlene, we all were thinking, you know, there's a ten-year-old girl out there right now that could make really nervous on the radio six years from now. So we really hard. <laughs> And it's all come together, your, your plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, Chris. Um, so best of luck in the U.S., and I guess best of luck to our community, Vernon, because we're second place right now in the LG Rocks, your city. It's a chance to actually get Headley to come to town in January with the plain white tees and some pro snowboarders, put on a show. Uh, but we really need like every single person in Vernon to vote. So head to lgrocksyourcity.com and vote. If you need some inspiration, just go to the website, and you'll see how much, how far behind it actually is. It's a bit daunting, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that all four guys in the band would much prefer to go to Vernon than Brandon Manitoba. <laughs> than Brandon Manitoba. <laughs> yes, I've been to Although, Brandon. Yeah, I've been to Brandon too. I have, uh, you know, there are some cute girls in Brandon. It's it's actually not that bad for me, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not doing yourself any favors here. I know. I know. Okay, I still just would rather go to Vernon. Just, actually, the cute, the cute level of the building okay. Vernon is, is much higher. I okay, thank you, thank all you right. for stopping. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was going to ask you some some inane questions about Christmas and stuff, but we just want to encourage people to go to lgrocksyourcity.com and vote. Best of luck to, to you guys in the States. I know you're going to be hugely successful. Just get out there and play live, because once people see you live, it's going to be... You're going to turn them around, right? That is the goal. We're working on getting some tours and just get out there and, and killing people. I, I, I agree with you, and, and I think a lot of people agree, too. We just got to get out there and get live. Okay. Uh, Char, Char wants to say one more thing. Are you, Char? Okay. What's that? What's your, what's your, what do you want to say, Char? Um, She's whispering in the background here between yeah. tears. Um, I was going to say that my wish was if you guys came here, because you're totally awesome. Your wish for, that's your Christmas wish? Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, you could you could circumvent that and get a ticket to Brandon. <laughs> but uh, you know, failing that, you might have to wait uh, wait a little while. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. LGRocksYourCity.com. Or if you wake up Christmas morning and Santa Claus is is hauling you to Vernon, you'll know why. <laughs> yeah, making making Christmas wishes come true. Yeah. Uh, Chris, thanks for spending the time with us this morning. No problem at all. Okay, good luck, Vernon. <laughs> thanks, thanks very much, man. See ya. All right, take care. Ciao. Bye.